I'm Sean, this is Holly, and this is Corfu. We've travelled all the way down from Bulgaria, through to Greece, across Greece, and now we're on the island of Corfu. It's beautiful here. <laughs> we're backpacking, we're trying to do it all on a budget. In Corfu, our budget is a little bit more than usual. So we are planning to spend about £26 a day on top of our car that we've already bought and the accommodation, which work out about £50 together. Anyway, today we're in Corfu because the weather is looking kind of bad. There's a storm coming in. Hopefully it should pass in the next like day and a half. Uh, we're here for six days, but we're gonna show you Corfu and Corfu town. Uh, then over the next couple of days, we'll show you the island of Corfu, showing you some of the amazing beaches and things that you can do here. Must see things. Excellent. Let's go. Let's go. So we're heading into the old town right now, which is a, uh, Gonna look quite impressive. It is, Holly just said it's very eerily quiet here. Um, we are early in the season. Yeah. It is midday and it is about to rain, so maybe those things have helped with how quiet it is. There you go, we just found out we came up the wrong bit, not the fact that it is a ghost town because it's extremely busy again. Um, there you go. Ooh. Thank you. I wonder how many times on this trip you've, you've actually recorded yourself going, hmm, bakery. <laughs> probably too many. I probably haven't got a single one of those kept in the video though because yeah. I always edit it out. Ooh, ice cream. <laughs> So as you see guys, it is absolutely pouring. I'm pretty wet and Holly's wet too. Um, we went to a coffee shop because we thought it'd be a great idea to have a sit down, get out of the rain. Oh. Sean thought it'd be a great idea to have a sit down in the rain. Not thinking that every other human being in the area do the exact same thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, thinking that no one in the same, you know, would have the exact same idea that it's peeing it down. And it's barely raining, and they're all using umbrellas. Um, yeah, and we just got heckled. <laughs> I don't know what she was doing, she was just pointing at the camera and then pointing at me. I think she did, did that, I think she... But anyway, um, so we decided to come to here, because this space is the Mikhail's coffee. Um, it seems to be one of the cheapest places in Greece for coffee because it's a lot of locals go here. We've seen it quite a few times, all the places we've been to. Um, but what we we did see a second ago, we went to a coffee shop just down the road and it was double and nearly three times the price for a coffee. Um, yeah, it's expensive, isn't it? And then we didn't stay there because a lady was literally stood breathing down my neck and waiting. Waiting for the seat. seat. I was like, yeah, this is not comfortable. So we decided not to stay there and pay nearly six euros for a coffee. So um, we've got one here. It's nice. Anyway, we're going to go because um, we're getting heckled too much. <laughs> so our first thing, you you're right there, Holly, just sniffing yourself. Our first thing you can do in Corfu is um, go down to the old town and get lost in the maze, which is the old oh, town. It's it's mad. Um, that's the clock tower, by it's the way. Right. When you get out, there's a map. Yeah, <laughs> there's you, tell you you're on the opposite. So so, so we thought, oh, we're excellent. We're out to where we need to be, but no, we are here, and we need to be over here. <laughs> we thought, oh, we're fine, but there you go. Um, yeah, the old town is just a massive maze full of markets, um, coffee shops. There's like a new. I think that's where the new town was, yeah. and it's really posh, bougie shops down there. Expensive expensive coffee shops as you can see. Uh, we're gonna try and make our way out of this market and then we're gonna probably head to Lidl today and get some shopping. A way of saving money while our tra we're traveling, we're gonna get shopping from Lidl. Uh, enough, for, enough for a week's worth of food. Uh, of course we'll still get odd bits and pieces when we're out and about, but main, main meals we're gonna be cooking ourselves. Still look at getting some of the local projects when we're in there. Anyway, I'm gonna put the camera away again because obviously going for a market and it's very busy, as you can see. And that's the nice clock tower, you can just see it. Perfect. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another day in Corfu. Um, today, we're on the Port Timoni, Porto Timoni um, lookout walk. Um, hopefully you can get down to the beach, I'm not even sure, it's, I don't it know if It actually says Porto Timoni Beach Viewpoint. Yeah. 
Sure. It looks incredible from where we're standing right now anyway. Uh, we drove up here. Um, the it's mad. Uh, we drove up here and it was five uh, euros for parking, yeah. which is quite a lot, but- um, For the entire day. For the whole day. And that's good. We're looking forward to this. We just saw someone in front of us walking the same walk. So we know it's not just a random walk. But we say that the car park was empty. So obviously it's really early in the season which is good because the roads we took up here were incredibly like, like this, um, really thin, but a lot more bumpy on the way up here. And um, if we met a car, I'd have to reverse down it. Oh, <laughs> down it, that's me falling. Right. In today's part of this video, of the six day video, um, we're gonna be showing you an incredible hike that you can do. Well, I forgot my drone today, so that's a brilliant start today because this would have been an incredible drone shot, but. Eh, we're up high enough, so you got it pretty cool from up here. We're gonna sit here, which is literally the start of the walk because we don't know how far down it goes. We're gonna sit here and have some lunch. Well, it goes down all the way to the beach. Does it? Oh, it's gonna be a bit of a walk up by the sounds of it. <laughs> so, Porto Timoni Beach that way. Alfonso Square that way. San George. <laughs> it's that way. That way. Yeah, we're not going to the San George Beach because. Yeah, we'll go that way. So have some lunch. So lunch was good. Just had a um, ham sandwich. <laughs> Just a boring ham sandwich, but it was good. Um, the, the path here looks a little bit rocky. <laughs> yeah, it's another, it's another day by pick by Sean. So uh, enjoy. He's a bit worried about going all the way back up, but... Well, because I'd only started up there. Yeah, the yellow building was where we were at, wasn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, because we could see it. Um, yeah, so it's a bit of a hike up. We made it to our first beach. Beautiful, it really is. First beach, Ollie, how do you feel? Beachy. <laughs> Beachy. We watched Castaway last night. Um, getting some very Castaway sort of feels right now. Wilson! The second beach, and it's just around the just a little tiny little hill. Um, but it is so much more busier, and that's because of the fact that there's no wind down here. The wind is on the other side, but it is really nice. Look at the caves. How these come to the Yeah, it's not as windy, is it? That's why I've been down here because it's cold. It's also um, actually sandy. So we're back at the lookout spot. Yeah, it's beautiful down there, isn't it? It's just yeah. so beautiful. not so beautiful if you look directly down because that's where I would fall if I lost my balance. You wouldn't actually be seeing this because I'm pretty sure my camera would be destroyed as well. So we're heading back now to Cassiope where we stay. We're gonna head back, have a little bit of a rest, and then we're gonna show you around Cassiope. Hopefully show you a bar and <laughs> get a drink. Yeah. I think Holly's gonna need one after getting up this hill. She's already like no telling me hikes. no more hikes. But I keep telling her, look at this mountain. It is only a 20 minute walk. From the ground. Mm. On that. That's a 20 minute walk, on that. 
Okay, yeah, it's only me a walk, but look at the view. Yeah, the view's beautiful. You didn't realize you actually walked all the way. Yeah. Oh, well, you can walk away around it. Oh, yeah, through the mountain itself. Screw that. We were just enough to see the beach. Um, anyway, I'm gonna put my camera away now because it's so rocky and it's quite hard to get up. Um, and then I'll see you again when we're showing you around Cassiope. So we're back out. It's now, what was it, seven o'clock? Yeah. Yeah. And um, this is Cassiope. Um, nice little place. We're not far away. I know that. I was just talking to Holly and saying we haven't actually shown you the, um, the area that we're staying in. The area we're staying in, all the, the complex. So I think I edited it out. I did talk about it when we first arrived. So uh, this is so this is our, our apartment right now. Um, past Sean will tell you about it. How much did this apartment here cost us, Holly? Oh. Minus the breakages. Uh, £23 a night or something. Yeah, something like 23 pound line. It's a bit echo in here, so I'm gonna keep the recording inside here a bit limited. But this is what we've got. We've got a nice microwave, somewhere to cook our dinners, a fridge, somewhere to eat, um, and oh, somewhere to dry our clothes. I uh, don't think there's a washing machine in here, but we do have a sink that we can wash ourselves up. There's a toilet and a shower. Uh, it also says the Wi-Fi is, um, is free, but it's a password on it, so I don't know what the password is. All right, okay, we'll have to. It's a lovely view I've got, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, yeah, it's a little bit. Uh... We when we first come down here on the first night, um, this is before we started filming. We just arrived, and we were like starving, hungry, wanting some food, and there was nothing open. It was Sunday, and nothing was open. There was no more. All of the things on Google said it was open. There was nothing open. There, there it goes. That's the beach. <laughs> so we were just saying, we're not sure if that over there is actually Albania. I think that actually might be where we're off to next. Yeah. Uh, which is Saranda. Saranda. I believe so. Check out this bar, Illusions Bar. I'll let you know how it is afterwards. Morning guys and welcome back to another day in Corfu. Today we are travelling around the whole island. Um, we're just going to take a road trip. There's my car. Looks lovely doesn't it? Better than my car that I had at home. Um, and we're going to take a road trip around the whole island just stopping off at places like this. Just great lookout points and we're going to make our way down to Kavos is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes Kavos and Holly's going to get on the uh, beers. Come on beer sun. Um, no, no, we're just gonna have a look around. Um, uh, I've got my drone with me today and I'm gonna see if I can get a drone shot right here. Again, with airports and laws, oh, I might not be able to get drone shots in more out of a place, but this place looks perfect.
just stopped off at Lidl's, um, big Lidl's just outside Corfu City. I picked up what looks like, or what Google says is a chicken roll. Yeah. And uh, Holly picked up a sausage roll with, with sauce. sauce, but we don't know what sauce. <laughs> uh, we also picked up two chocolate bars and some freeway cans, which look like fun lemon. lemon. So um, we're going to enjoy this and then we're going to shoot up to Kalos. Just driving past this place, um, I think it's called Portamaki Beach or something like that. Uh, this we decided to stop because it looks so beautiful, just like me. Look how beautiful I am. Anyway, let's show you how clear this water is. Look at it. Oh, I nearly fell in it, but yeah. Don't do that. What? Fall I in the water? Dropped on my chocolate bus. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a nice drive so far, apart from driving through Corfu City. It is horrendous where people just pull out on you and try and edge their way, try and squeeze past you. It's really busy, but like... You're automatically the problem. What's this? Like when you're driving, you're automatically the problem by yeah. someone who lives here. Oh yeah, yeah. In I, I feel like I was going to get hit all the time. Just like nudged. Just like to hurry up or... Not even because... Not like I could hurry up. There was somebody in front of me all the time. But it's just... It's a very like... They want to get places. No drone. Oh yeah, no drone. That's, yeah, not far from the airport. This is Kavos. Um, the season hasn't started yet, but um, yeah, I'm gonna get back in the car because um, it's dodgy as hell. Um, the next video you'll see is us driving through Kavos, so I'll get Holly to hold this and um, film while I drive through it. It is, um, well, let's describe Kavos in, in YouTube friendly terms. It's as fresh as that building is. <laughs> oh, it's, it's something. It's um, under construction. You'd have to be about 10 drinks deep to think this was pretty. Out of everywhere we've been so far, this is just... We were trying to get down to the beach and we couldn't get down to the beach because the road is being blocked by workers, kind of. And... Oh, yeah, so I couldn't even see the beach. We parked up on the side of the road, don't want to leave the car here. Even though it's not even my car, um, we just want to get out of Kavos. Next place, we're going to take you to a lovely coastal area in Corfu, but Kavos... Don't do it. Don't do it. Look, look, this is Kavos, guys. Head east. Yeah, head out. <laughs> We've kind of missed some of the worst bits that we went down, but... Yeah, this doesn't look that bad. It just looks closed. It's... Yeah. We are out of season by like, what, a month? Not even. Not even a month. Uh -huh. And this will be up and running. Um, If you was to book anywhere, don't book Kavos on here. Um, head up to more Corfu area. If you don't want to get, if you're not planning to see the island, go to Corfu. You're literally on the doorstep. Um, and then if you want to see the island, go up to um, where are we, Cassiope? Yeah. This beautiful dog. North of the island is considered the most beautiful part of the island. There's a super. A, a There's seven. a fake Seven Eleven. It's not actually Seven Eleven. It's a Seven Seven. A seven Seven. People just walk out on you down here. I don't know if oh, they... Oh, tattoo shop. Oh, no. I bet some regrets have been made on that one. Yeah. The roads are looking like it. It's going like this. <laughs> Let's show you what that means, shall we? Like, look out this window, because that's where we're going. Like, I've got to look down at here. <laughs> oh, too wide. And then I've got to look out this window out here. Just to see where I'm... Let's just hope there's no cars coming, eh? 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 Hey. 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 Sean wonders why he's not going to walk. 
I mean, we got into fifth gear once for the first time and I've just, today, and we've been here since Sunday. And I did it just, just, just so I could do it. <laughs> I, I drive in second and third most of the times. You can't go any higher than that because you've got to go uphill and downhill and round tight corners. And... Oh, car coming. Sorry, we're recording. If anyone smashes into us, we're liable. Cool. We've got a dash cam recording. <laughs> So here we are at uh, Palio Crestrizza, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. His dad told us to come. Yeah, I think uh, you were saying something about Jamie's Bond being filmed here. Editor Sean will uh, tell you which one, if it is one. Also, we were looking at, we might even have to drive down a little bit closer to it. Right, we might come back here tomorrow. We're gonna head back now. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another video. Well, it's not actually morning. We're actually at evening, and we're off to see the sunset, aren't we, Holly? Yeah, but we're going before I get back for that gate. <laughs> yeah, we're just kind of walking for a gate, and hoping it doesn't shut on us. Um, gonna go see the sunset at a canal. <laughs> yes. It's a really cool lookout point, apparently. So there you go guys, that is the sunset we're going to wait, wait for. Really? Ain't that hell? Well the sunset, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so this is one of the most northerly points of the whole island. That makes me feel uneasy. Yeah? Go up, just... Oh. Yeah, it just feels like the, the ground's gonna go away from you. It's beautiful. To be fair, we did choose a nice sunset as well. It's not been the most clearest day, so... um. What we have been up to today is the fact that we've actually been doing nothing. And, and I've enjoyed that. I've done a lot of video editing. Holly's been washing her hair, <laughs> literally. Um, what else have we done today? Oh, we went for a walk around um, Cassiope. Yeah. And we went a little bit further around that we didn't film. But uh, the beaches there are really nice. A bit shingly, but yeah, lovely. Nice. We're going to go back to the first stop and get you a nice picture of the sunset. And then probably head back before it's actually dark dark because Sean doesn't like the idea of driving in Corfu in the dark. Yeah, the road sign's in. Well, there's, no, there. there's no street lighting. Yeah. It's so, a... you're just relying on your lights and... And the locals not to kill you. <laughs> people pull out on you at the best of times, so... Yeah. So, good night guys, and I'll see you for our last day in Corfu tomorrow. Yeah. Good morning guys, and welcome to our last day in Corfu. We've had an interesting morning. Um, but you might recognise this beach as the, um, the hike that we did. You just see up there is the yellow house and we hiked all the way down here. We decided to take the, a drive down to here and um, it's been an eventful morning, hasn't it, Holly? Yeah, because we got to uh, Palio Cristizza. Oh, Palio Cristizza, and it was teaming it down. Yeah. I was like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> just to uh, translate that for you, it was raining <laughs> hard. Um, teaming it down. Teaming it down. Um, so we decided we just carry on driving. We got to this little area and um, we decided that we're going to come to this beach. Um, as you can tell, there's no one on the beach because it's just finished raining. Oh, right, yeah, was, oh yeah, a couple of people. It's really wet, uh, but we're just going to have a walk down the beach because we haven't actually done that yet. Uh, the idea was meant to have a beach day today, but um, yeah, it's good. Also, the other thing today we're going to tell you about is the fact that our budget is kind of out the window for today because we're going to have a treat day. Uh, we haven't had a treat day yet, really, have we? No. Um, I fancy some um, gyros. gyros and um, also fancy a burger for dinner, which is in the local area. But um, we'll tell you all about that today. So um, we're just going to walk down the beach now. What was 
is that? I just planted it. Yeah. Yeah, Sean's worse at this than I am, apparently. Hiya. Wow. <laughs> Come on, yes! Probably just killed a fish. <laughs> Okay, we are on the north of the island. Um, Academy. 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 We just stopped off at a pit house for. Oh, which was delicious. Uh, I recommend that. One of our cheapest meals. Yeah. Like out, it was 13 euro for two euros and two bottles of coke. Yeah, which is really nice. Fill in, great lunch. Oh, somebody's kicking off up here. Oh. Yeah, it was great, and then uh, just two <laughs> geezers. Jesus. Walked in. Oh, it's a wedding. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's the same. Okay, as you were saying. Uh, walked in, past the big menu outside, went, first you a menu, love. Yeah, that's fine. Show them it. And then they proceed to order their gyros as if they're in a kebab shop at three in the morning. <laughs> oh no, can I have no can chips have in that one? No chips in that one, but I, no, oh yeah, see the other two, no salad. Oh, can we get them mixed? Uh, but one of them with no salad, can I get no sauce? But the rest of them will have sauce on it, because I was like, this poor girl, she's just staring at them like, <laughs> so we're back in Cassiope and we went out to dinner. Well, kind of. Holly, explain to him what happened with dinner. <laughs> We've not eaten yet. We went out for dinner and um, walked around this place, looked really nice. We're like, okay, the views were alright on Google. And we were met with a manager who says, um, well, the kitchen aren't here yet, or some sort of bad translation Greek to English. And then she was like, oh, but you can go sit upstairs and have a drink. We're like, all right, cool. She said she'd come up and get us. Be about five to five minutes, she yeah. said. Um, once the kitchen are here. <laughs> so we go upstairs and we're met by a woman who's like, did you not like downstairs? <laughs> what? I was like, well, clearly communication in this place is not your strong suit because uh, we were told to come up here because the kitchen wasn't ready yet. And then we ordered drinks, which was like pulling blood for a stone. <laughs> and then she goes to take her food order and I'm like we've just been told that we're not able to order food yet so we're just going to wait thankfully we did yeah so we didn't end up with any food but well, we did well we, we did went, we, end, we, ended up we went to the shop and we spent we got two beers a couple bits of pork belly we got sides to go with it and dessert and snacks for later for the price of one burger. Yeah, the burger in there was like 11 euros and we got all of that for 11 euros, so it was really good. Anyway, enough for our rant about that place. We've really enjoyed Corfu, haven't we? It's been really good. Yeah, everyone's been lovely until yes. um, hospitality workers are apparently incredibly hostile. Oh. Don't go to the square in Cassiope. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found lots of things that you can do in Corfu. Tomorrow's video, which is strange, tomorrow's video, you're going to see us go from Corfu to Albania, not just any part of Albania, Sarande in Albania. Mm -hmm. Sarande, Saranda? It's, it's spelled Sarande, but it's said Saranda, yeah. I think. And we're going to go there tomorrow, and I'm going to show you the journey across, because I want to show you like a little bit more about our journeys, because I haven't actually done that a lot yet. We're getting so, the ferry. We're getting the ferry across, and we're crossing, because that's going to be the easiest way to cross. But more about that in tomorrow's video. So I'll see you again. Then, soon. <laughs>